Good day, YouTubians. My name is Cleaning Agent, and I am here to predict the Four Horsemen. That's right. Apocalypse is in the distance, but ahead of him is four horses, and they're galloping through. Who's on those horses, you might ask? Well, let me tell you. All right, so there are four horsemen coming into the game of Marvel Strike Force, and the Marvel Strike Force scopely seems to think they're going to be secretive about it, and nobody's going to know until they make a big announcement on who each horseman is months and months apart. But I think I've got it pegged. And this is based purely off of my imagination and maybe some ill fitting information that I searched online. You know, I'm just making shit up really is what it comes down to. So uh, I would take all of this with a huge grain of salt, just like you should take Scopely. Salty, not stirred. All right, so let's just jump right into it, all right? We know there are four horsemen and they are Famine, Death uh, in the middle there, uh, a third one over Pestilence, and finally War. I think that's the breakdown based on what they have around them. You know, this one kind of looks like dust, you know, like famine, like drought, like uh, wilting of crops, I guess. Death, because it's dark and shadowy like a Grim Reaper, I, I don't know. Um, pestilence, because it's like weird green gooey stuff, yeah, I don't know, make you sick, you know, make you barf it up. Uh, and war, because, I don't know, burn it to the ground? Who knows? But that's what I've decided, so let's just go through them in that order. Here is my predictions. First up, Famine, I believe is going to be Rogue. Why, you might ask, Rogue? Why Rogue? Why would Rogue become Famine? Well, off the start, they said in the blog post that they were taking a new approach. It might not be your classic uh, horseman. So I thought, okay, well, let's go to the game and see what's in there to give us some hints. And really the only thing hinted at that I could find is there's been rumors of Excalibur coming. Rogue was part of Excalibur and so was Gambit, who, as we've seen, might be in game here uh, coming soon as there's some flying aces up someone's sleeve here. So if Gambit's coming, I think Rogue's probably coming as well. And I think based off of this video, Gambit's fighting Apocalypse because he's turned Rogue into a horseman. That's my one and only thought on that. And you know, more more accurately, Excalibur has been hinted at numerous times. So I figure they need some more people there. We also have Shatterstar in the game. He was once part of Excalibur. So it's easy to have Jubilee also in Excalibur at some time. So I think there is merit to having a partial already characters in game with new character releases to make up the team for the rogue horseman to come at and then she can make that team unstoppable, I'm sure. So that's my first horseman. That is Famine. I said Pestilence, I think, but I meant Famine. Also, Rogue kinda has a Famine feel to her. She touches things and she steals all of their power, pretty much wilting them, killing them, much like a Famine. There you go, case closed. Obviously, Rogue is Famine, right? 100%. Next, we've got Death. Who better to represent Death than the one, the only, Blade? And look at this, at Best Buy you can buy some sort of weird projector thing. But more importantly, Blade is going to be Death. One, he's, uh, you know, killing vampires, he's uh, a hunter, uh, you know, Death is hunting life at all times. More importantly, Dark Hunters just got released into the game, so there's lots of new characters there with old characters that Blade can step into as a horseman to make that team awesome. And Mordo can get tossed to the side where he belongs, right? I think 
Number two is Blade, the Daywalker, because he can go between day and night, life and death. 100% it's gotta be Blade, case closed. All right, next, we've got Pestilence for real this time. Now, Pestilence was hard for me because I couldn't quite find the right groove for Pestilence, but then, our ever so resourceful leader of rumors, Tana, came out with this video today, yesterday, a couple days ago. Morgan Le Fay, Morgana, she is a sorcerer of great talents and could fit into a sorcerer's team because, you know. Mordo will be without a home soon. Strange is without a home. Scarlet Witch is without a home. So we can make a sorcerer's team led by Morgan Le Fay. Tana goes into greater details of more why she fits the bill for Pestilence. I think it's a home run. So that was an easy banger. Next and finally, and maybe the most outrageously thought, but absolute for sure fourth horseman one, I took a look at this short, stubby, thick creature here, cloaked figure, and I thought, darn it. You know who this is going to be? This has to be Red Hulk. Because one, Hulk in this game is a short, stubby, thick creature. For some reason, Marvel Strike Force hates the Hulk and makes him this short, stout character so he will totally fit within this illustration here absolutely 100 percent red hulk stature secondly there's been rumors for eons about a gamma team we already have hulk in the game we already have she hulk in the game we already have abomination in the game though he's not released so how hard would it be to add red hulk as a horseman abomination and let's say Scar to fill out that team. We have a full gamma team. It'll kick Royal butt. We'll get a rework that everybody wants on Hulk. We'll get a rework on She-Hulk to make her useful on some team. That would be great. I think all of these characters are shoe in for the money. For goodness sake, I think I've cracked the code just on pure logic and a little bit of scopely logic blended in. Um, because every new character, or every horseman has already been told to be a new character, you have to farm their shards, they have to be a new unlock. And because they said they're gonna lead their own teams, it has to be a team that, ugh, there's no way you can, well, there is, maybe they'll start releasing double the characters every patch, so we get eight new characters every patch. Then it could be all new teams, but I don't think so. I think it's gonna be a mix much like legendary unlocks in the past of characters we have already, such as Hulk and She-Hulk, mixed in with a couple of new characters, Abomination, Scar, somebody, uh, and then the legendary or horseman, Red Hulk. There you have it, folks. Rogue, Blade, Morgana, Red Hulk. You got anything better than that? You have any better ideas? Leave them in the comments below. Send me some comments. Downvote me. Upvote me. Subscribe. Tell your friends that I'm on stream. Come check me out. Come argue with me live over the interwebs. I threaten people to meet at the railroad tracks at noon all the time. We can fist the cuffs. Maybe you think it's going to be Grey Hulk instead of Red Hulk. Could be. But if it's a Hulk, by golly, I'll consider a win. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned nothing because I don't think I've really given you anything. But if you enjoyed this, please like and follow. See me on Twitch. Check out other things I've posted. I don't know. Do whatever you want. Really, when it comes down to it, just keep it clean and we'll see you next time. Meet me at the railroad tracks at noon, Singapore time.
next year, Wednesday. Oh my goodness. Why do I even read what Meister says? I, I don't even know anymore. Gee, Meister. Ridiculous. Let's put some music back on because I can't stand the quiet. The quiet makes me hear all the other voices in my head struggling to be heard. Kind of like uh, Moon Knight. Not that I'm Moon Knight. <laughs> Not that I'm Moon Knight. Alrighty then. <laughs>